I suppose this is exactly what I was looking for this morning, a nice, calm, peaceful loch up at Loch Earn this morning uh, with the camera. And oh, what a day it's looking like it's going to be. The water is beautifully still and I'm trying to get a few reflections. There's mist coming over the water as well, but I just can't get a strong enough subject, I don't think. There's a little tree which is just protruding out um, into the loch a little bit and I've tried to capture that, but I don't know, I don't think it's working. There's a few other things I'm going to try, but we'll see what happens. But oof, what a peaceful day. Uh, I've got some ducks which keep interrupting my photo and spoiling the beautiful reflection that I'm getting. So this is taking a little bit longer than I thought. So there's a composition that I've spotted across the loch and I'm quite happy with this. It's kind of built up on layers. So we've got a layer of cloud on the top. We've got a little bit of interest in the land in the middle. Then we've got the loch with like a thin layer of mist just over the top. There's a little bit of ripple in the water just from this uh, river coming out here. But this is looking great. This is quite nice. It's an image built on layers, I suppose. And uh, what we have is F11, ISO 100, and we're looking at about a one second exposure. It's got a really eerie kind of feel to it as the mist just blows across the water. And I'm just keeping my eye out for other compositions that just keep appearing. Because the mist across the water is constantly changing, there's just compositions popping up everywhere. So, oh. the obvious composition, the sunrise, which is, well, just up behind me there. I don't really feel like that is the thing that I need to be shooting today. So I've decided to go for the sunrise anyway. Couldn't resist, eh? Um, I've zoomed away in, and I've kind of tried to isolate just parts of what's going on because in the grand scheme of things, everything just doesn't look that great. So we've got a couple of little headlands just poking out, um, and then the loch just drifting away up into the background. Starting to light up orange now, which is fantastic. And uh, there's a little shimmer in the water just from this little river coming out. Fantastic, so peaceful. Spring is definitely on the way. This is me walking through people's houses. This is the correct route, but it just never feels comfortable doing this. Oh. We red squirrel. Don't see them every day. Oh. There's so much happening down here. I don't know if I really want to climb that mountain in the foggy, cloudy, potentially wet summit. I'm gonna push on and see what it's like anyway. I'm not being defeated at the bottom of the mountain. Look, it is sunny. That makes me happy. Cool. Oh dear. Do you remember earlier, I was all excited about the sun coming out? Well, things have changed. Oh my goodness, there's a couple of grouse. They scared the out of me. Anyway, on with my story. Uh, as I say, the sun is out, but this last four months, my go-to trousers have been like ski trousers, that kind of stuff. 
and I automatically put them on this morning. It must be about 12, 13 degrees out here and my legs have a sweat on. Oh my goodness, I want shorts. I want short shorts. There's a really interesting tree just down there. It's just being lit up by the sun just now. I'm not gonna go down there now because the path that I'm probably gonna take on the way back cuts down and through there. So I think that's maybe a project for the way back down, hopefully. Let's hope that the light is nice on that on the way back, eh? So this is mid-April 2018 and the beast from the east was a couple of months ago. I'm sure it has snowed since then. But the amount of snow built up on these mountains is crazy. I reckon that it's probably going to be there into June. Unless there's a huge thaw comes on but oh that snow is still so deep here. Oh wow, I've just spent the last 10 minutes chasing around a couple of ptarmigan. I think they're ptarmigan, if not please do correct me in the video comments. Um, but yeah, got really close to them, they are so confident in front of humans. I don't know whether it's just because they've never had any contact or what, but I can get up to about, I don't know, 3 metres of them. Don't have a terribly long lens, I've got that uh, 24 to 105 on the crop frame, so I got a little bit of video. This is turning out to be a wildlife day. There it is, there's the summit. That's where I'm going. Hopefully the cloud stays like that. That would be a perfect view. So I've reached the summit and it's kind of cloudy. I'm gonna wait about until the cloud clears a little bit just so that I can maybe get a little bit of a view. It is kind of peeking in and out of uh, cloud so hopefully within the next 10 minutes or so I'll be able to see something nice. There are views out behind me, you might get a bit of wind in the microphone here but there's a few views out behind me there. But uh, It would be nice if the top cleared for me. Huh? Okay so we're getting a few more views out over that way, that's the next Munro that I'm going to climb. Uh, this is Ben Vorlick actually that I'm up. The next one is a similar height, it's just down and around that little ridge and then up again. Yeah, it's turned into quite a nice day up here. Um, that's where I've come up. Just up along uh, that path there. It's quite a well-trodden path. I think there's a couple of signs about the uh, erosion on the path, which is quite clear. It's quite a badly eroded path. And we've got a nice little second peak out there. Gonna go over there and climb that just in case that's higher as well. But uh, yeah, cracking views up here now. Quite nice to be having a little rest at the top. It's not too cold either. And uh, whenever the sun's out, it is positively roasting. <laughs> Now this mountain, I think it's Stuck uh, Troen or something like that, I can't pronounce it. I'll put the pronunciation up, but this looks more difficult. And look at that cloud coming over the top just to make it look even more daunting. It looks like there's going to be a bit of a scramble up this one anyway. I'm just sitting here waiting for some nice light to fall on these hills over here but I think it might rain which is going to be unpleasant but I suppose I'll deal with it.
Okay, made it to the top of this one. My lapel microphone has failed, so apologies about the sound. Um, yeah, some cracking views up here. I'll pop the drone up, do a wee circle of it, let you see what's happening. But yeah, that was worth it. Two Monroes in a day. Two Monroes before 11 o'clock. Oh, that was good. That was good. myself a deal. If I get back to the car before one, I can go and have a coffee. I am 17 minutes and counting going to get a move on. Oh, it was five past whenever I got back to the car. No coffee for me till I get home.